Thank you, DigiDees, for clicking on the video. That's right, today we're going to be playing some Deep Rock Galactic, where today we're going to be playing the Early Access. It is finally out of demo mode, and they've added lots of new things to the game, as well as a new map, new weapons, and new everything. But first off, I want to give off a huge shout-out to everyone who helped me with the previous video. The previous video, I asked a question. I was like, hey, how do I green screen? How do I do things properly? And you guys really came through, and a few of you actually did send a message to my email and helped me find out ways to do it in a brand new way, and... Hey, look, I think the content I'm going to be working on the next couple of weeks, the things that are going to be coming out, the projects that I'm going to be finishing, you guys are going to love it. It's going to be a little bit cringy, but you know, hey, isn't content creation in general a little bit cringy regardless? So thank you for clicking on the video. How about we just jump right into the reason you clicked on it to begin with, to play some Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. That's right. Let's get started. Woo! The woo-woo wasn't necessary. The woo was not necessary. But one of these days, I'll get used to it. Welcome back to GDs to That's Right, Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Where today, we're checking out a brand new map. We have ourselves the Magma Core, which I have actually not taken a look at at all. I did a little bit of offline grinding just to make sure I go ahead and unlock some new things for you guys to take a look at and view while you kind of, you know, just to see what the game has to offer. And this is honestly looking amazing. Remember, this is their first release of their early access before they were in demo mode. And honestly, we've been loving absolutely everything that they've been introducing to this game. The fact that everything is faster, we've been doing a lot of faster mining, a lot of new weapons, a lot of new attributes, a lot of new artifacts, lots of DRG style and feeling true to what it is that this game really has to offer. So hey, we have our very first upgrades. We want more mining speed, fire rate, or move speed. I kind of want to go for mining speed, a 10% increase to that in general. Yeah, I can already tell. And they say 10%, but honestly, it feels like it's been so much more. So yeah, so those of you who are un unaware of what this game is, that's right. We've, we've recently been playing it a little bit. We did some episodes prior when it was in demo mode. But yeah, it's finally in early access. It's about, I think, 25, 30 bucks, I believe. I'll put it up on screen right here for you to go ahead and see what the price is. But yeah, it is very DRG style. We have our Arachnids that we're trying to fend off. We have our classic weapons. We're playing as a scout. There's new characters to unlock. There's new maps to unlock. There are objectives. And I don't really know what this blue material is, but you try to go ahead and collect up resources. It's very true to what a roguelike is as well. And in general, just trying to build up your character, get more upgrades, survive as long as you can, see what you can do, survive the different ways, go through different levels of different, you know, enemies in general, different levels of the magma core, different levels of everything overall. And oh god, so I'm going to go ahead and soup. Can I mine these flamey looking rocks? No, okay, no, they burn you underneath. <laughs> they burn you underneath. I mean, I, they look, I, I mean, look, some might say it's going to be obvious that of course they're going to burn you, but you got to test this. I'm just as new to this as you guys are and find myself a magnet to bring in all that sweet XP to me. Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a reload speed. I think I'm going to do a reload speed to all weapons because eventually we can have four weapons down there on the very bottom side. And I'm going to do 25% damage to my main, to my primary. I mean, my primary in general is going to be very nice. It is kind of an auto fire, auto battler in a sense. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how you describe that. But yeah, honestly, I've been loving this game. It is really fun to play in your lone. It's a little fun to just, you know, kind of just chill, relax, sit back and just enjoy yourself. And we have ourselves a brand new weapon. Ooh, do we want to do high caliber piercing bolts? Last time we did the cryo grenade. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at the boomstick, Jimmy. Target the closest enemy with a range of shotgun, massive damage and knockback. Ooh, okay. It is kinetic. So knockback is going to be pretty good. And look at that spread. Oh, hello. Let's do that one more time. Now, that is a pretty good spread. It gets two shots and then it has to reload. So if anything, I'm going to want to try to upgrade its reload speed as much as I possibly can. And I am getting a little bit surrounded here. I see that. We're getting a few of these exploders, uh, explodey spider dudes. I don't know what you call them, but except that they just explode the big fiery dudes. I'm going to try to try to avoid them the best I can. Maybe get some of this jad as I sitting here on the ground. Get it, get it, get it. Kind of, come on, keep on mining, keep on mining, keep on mining. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and do a big circle around this area. I kind of want to group all these guys up because I imagine if I can go ahead and take them out in one big swoop, these guys exploding, then that's going to be a great benefit to us. I don't know how to activate these like kind of supply beacons do i need more enemies in them is that the issue or do i need to clear out more enemies because <laughs> there's a lot going on taking out quite a few of these guys another level up um I, i'm gonna do increase all projectile damage yeah that's gonna be damage to both of my weapons that's just a base level increase so yeah i oh my god <laughs> okay and i just ripped that boss that mini boss is shooting out a lot of projectiles to me i'm gonna try to pick up all this xp on the ground holy crap there's a lot here um, I don't need to imagine my weapon of being a lot prettier, but uh, I kind of want the reload speed. I don't know what the paint jobs really do. Increases weapon though by by level two. Increase weapon level by two. Oh, okay. So it gets you closer to kind of like getting a uh, getting a modifier to it that can help increase another level up here. I want to do more reload speed. We need reload speed on that shotgun and another level. My God. Um, I'm gonna go along with just base damage, base damage for the primary. 
I don't really care about the fire rate as much. You know, as long as I do more damage per bullet and another level up, you know, these early loads are gonna be really nice. I'm gonna do a reload speed for all weapons is gonna be good. However, it does not upgrade any of my weapons in that format because, you know, I'm trying to get them leveled up to try to, as far as you can, try to get some of the prestige levels that go along with it. Let's take out this mini boss here. He's probably gonna give us a whole bunch. Come on, come on, explode for me, baby, yes. <laughs> another level up, what do we have? We are getting a little bit closer, reload speed. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go reload speed in general. I don't need that fire rate. But you know, I, that could be a big regret here in the future. We did manage to take him out. We gotta get to the drop pod, but I, there's still so many resources around here. I don't wanna leave just yet. Another level up. I don't really have a lot of choice here though. I kinda just have to do it regardless. It's gonna leave in about 17 seconds. So let's see if I can take out as many enemies as I can and enjoy this XP. That's gonna be just dropping for me. Yeah, baby. Come on, explode. Yes. Come on, do another explode. Explode for me. Explode. That's gonna be a great hole of XP. Come on, explode. 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 No. no. Okay. Uh, can I? I need to get in. Am I in? Does that count as being in? I think I'm in. I didn't get the drop pod though. Oh God. We were down to the very final second. God damn it. <laughs> and we didn't get really any nitro or gold at all. So we can't really get any of these upgrades. So hopefully we survive a little bit further and a little bit longer than, you know, than that, because uh, we'd like to get some of those upgrades, but I need to keep an eye out for this gold and nitro is going to be out here on the map. We don't really have a whole lot of time there. The first level does go kind of fast. I'm going to see if I can kind of prolong this battle as much as I can. But it, it is almost the same mechanic as, uh, what is the game? Uh, Risk of Rain. Where I think Risk of Rain has a mechanic which is like the longer you take, the harder and harder the game gets. Now, there isn't necessarily a signifier on the screen to signify that you are going to be getting, you know, harder and harder. But I just, from my own experience of playing the game, the longer you, you survive, the harder the game is going to get in general. So, you know, if I try to prolong one of these floors, one of these levels, it's just going to be a big detriment to like a big, a big no-no in the future. It's going to be making it just so much harder for me to survive with these swarms of enemies. But hey, maybe more XP in general. I'm going to see if I can capitalize on getting many, as many resources as I can here, though. Already got a swarm coming in. All these resources are going to be good for base level upgrades for when we're out of the game. At the main menu, we have a couple of guys coming in there, but probably about to explode on me. Ooh, just barely out of the range of them. Yeah, baby. Um, I don't know what those tendrils are all about, but I don't want to get close to them. He just tried to lunge at me. <laughs> he just tried to lunge at me. Keep out of the distance. Can I get any of those explodey dudes? Because, oh God, we have a couple of tendrils right here next to me. Let's get out of the way before I get cornered into them. I, I want to get that entire group of enemies just to explode right there if you could. Please, please just make it work. Uh, none of the bolts are really hitting kind of the explodey dudes. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it for me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut on through in classic DRG fashion. Why try to find a path when you can make a path? Just dig your way right on through. And to be fair, this is the scouts. You know, you do have your four different classes that I've yet to unlock fully just yet. I don't know if they're fully implemented into the game, but back in the demo, it said that they were uh, only, that they were not accessible in the demo, but now it says that they're simply just locked. Ooh, another level, 15% more mining speed. Yeah, I kind of want to do the mining speed because look at, I, I need to get through these resources as fast as I possibly can. And the longer it takes to sit here and mine these, the more likely it is that I'm going to get surrounded. <laughs> then I'm going to get surrounded to take damage. Took a couple of hits there. Uh, is there going to be a good way out of this area at all? If I maybe like circle around. God, that mining speed is absolutely ridiculous though. I'm actually just breaking through those rocks like it's absolutely nothing. So hey, if you guys are enjoying the video, if you guys are enjoying, you know, the content in general, if you enjoy my fast ramblings you know basically just absolutely just unhinged just talking oh god minus 32 hours that close to that <laughs> well, that's to be noted try to stay out of the let's try to stay out of the explodies you know in general that yeah, seems pretty you know obvious but okay we have the supply pot come on down come on down they're all starting to come oh my god okay please please hurry up hurry up right so we have artifacts gain xp when i take damage you get a small chance to find gold when mining any kind of rock Ooh knock back and slow nearby enemies when you take damage 30 second cooldown now i want to find gold whenever i mine rock that means i can just kind of buy cares to just mine through this stuff and maybe find gold while i'm doing it and is that is, am i finding gold there with those little kind of like i don't know if that's just the lighting of the rocks breaking or if that if that's maybe like giving me like one gold i'm gonna watch my resources there in the very top left how often do we find one Okay, got one gold there, two gold there. Honestly, that's that's a pretty good rate. That you, you do seem to find quite a bit. So we have a lot of these enemies coming in. I don't want to mine into those tendrils. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get a distance. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I need that XP, please. No, no, I need the XP. Oh, I'm I'm actually a little bit trapped. I need to mine through. I need to mine through. Mine through. Mine through. Mine through. Hey there, tendrils. Hey there, tendrils. Just keep on dodging. Ow. Okay, <laughs> I want to get all the XP. It may be kind of all in the fiery planes of the nine hells, but you know what? 
it'll be worth it trying to level up for all that yeah so let's do a reload speed on the main one because that does give us a prestige here i'm going to take 15 percent damage and plus 25 percent reload speed instead of targeting the enemy at the highest hp that feels like that's going to be annoying i'd rather just hit keep, hit keep on attacking the one that's closest to me and then yeah just take the extra damage and reload speed but what does salvage do i'm not certain but i want i'm going to go ahead and take the upgrade please i'm not going to salvage it whatever that means maybe you get extra gold maybe you get extra resources i'm not entirely certain we can kind of explore that in the future I would like to play this game more in general just try to kind of experiment with things maybe find out new things new nuances that, that kind of has to offer we do have ourselves a brand new weapon i kind of want to go for the m1000 classic choose high caliber piercing bolts targets the highest hp enemy deals kinetic damage so that's gonna be really good like in this instance where we have this boss that is kind of chasing us around the floor boss so oh wow that is a big bullet with some good with some good piercing not only is it hitting that guy but it is also hitting everything behind it as well come on come on primary good it does get rid of that tendril so i can go ahead and focus on getting this gold a little bit keep my distance keep my distance there is some nitro right here get some more resources he's about to hit me get out of the way get out of the way get out of the way the aliens grow stronger well that's not good okay so they are defined as just aliens i mean yeah i guess they are aliens uh i also realized i think they just all suddenly started walking faster too um oh god oh god oh god <laughs> oh god okay trying to trying to keep my distance i seem to be leveling up quite a quite a lot but um you know what does that matter if i end up dying come on come on try to focus down the floor boss i probably should try to get the floor boss killed off here circle it back around the aliens grow stronger no we don't need that we don't need that why are you telling me that they that they grow stronger again okay blow them all up what do we have here i'm gonna do i'm gonna do fire rate for the shotgun i guess the faster i get off my two shots the better question mark um, I am, uh, I need to go in a big circle. Can I, I'm gonna have to take some damage getting through all this. I need to dodge all these enemies and try to get back to that pot in time. We have like 15 seconds here. Not a lot of time. Not a lot of time. Come on. Come on. Okay. We got like, ah, uh, take a few hits, taking a few hits. Not many, just, just enough to be, you know, worrisome. Oh my God. That large caliber. That's like a, that's like a 100 BMG bullet just wrecking through them. Holy crap. Look at that swarm that is one heck of a swarm so here we go we did manage to get a lot of gold so we actually have the ability here to get quite a bit more so we can do a faster reload speed for our uh, kind of primary weapon that we just got our, our not our primary our m100 so that's gonna be good for the reload speed more damage towards the boss but now i need to focus on primarily just the gold i didn't have enough nitro to get a lot of this other stuff uh status effect damage all damage from over time acid electrical and fire well i don't have any acid electrical or fire so i'm gonna do a pickup radius re-roll what else can i get oh my god 63 gold for 25 percent mining speed i mean i would also can i afford both i don't think i can that's going to be like almost close to 90 and i only have 80. so do i want to reload speed for all medium weapons or do i want faster mining that's a legendary mining speed increase i mean look i'm a real sucker for getting more resources so what do i what, what can i say let's get it let's get it may as well because honestly that's gonna be the one thing that is stopping us of how fast we can move it's just how fast we can also mine things away so with that being said look at this we have like this resource right here how fast can i mine this away honestly yeah that's a pretty good speed mine away some of this health right here too yeah i got a little bit of health back back up to 114. the mining also helps take out these uh helps take out our loot bugs so they mine a little bit faster as well i don't know if that's necessarily the correct term to be using mining loot bugs <laughs> but uh you know sure why not um we have a secondary objective collect six apocalypse blooms there's one flower you know i should have been paying attention there in the very top right we have a secondary objective collect apocalypse blooms oh my god i just got an achievement for collect 250 nitro holy crap that thing is mining like there's like no tomorrow like look at that speed that is atrocious how fast that mines oh that is going to be saving me quite a bit of health by the fact of just being able to get out of these scenarios that much faster another level up i'm going to do more damage here we need to start leveling up our weapons a lot more i feel like we're kind of falling behind quite a bit in terms of damage reload speed and everything else i need to stop focusing on you know mining speed and oh there's an apocalypse bloom right there i'm gonna have to hey, don't mind me just take a quick hit oh god oh god you know mine away mine away mine away mine away what are you excuse me excuse me what are you these giant tender looking boys here I, I i don't i don't like that can i take them out i mean it's firing at them i'm assuming i'm doing damage but uh they're not going down very fast at all oh okay there's a couple of explosions let's see if i can get some of this gold and uh maybe make my distance over to that health come on get some of this get some of this yeah there we go let's uh, keep my distance they're all gonna explode <laughs> let's take a little fire damage to just cross over 
Oh, so you don't burn immediately. You can actually take a little bit of a detour through them. Oh, and they are activated upon radius. You know, I could probably use that to my advantage. Maybe get them stacked up and then go activate all these things to go blow up in like a big instance. That'd be pretty good. Uh, speaking of which, speaking of which, there is a whole bunch right there. So I'm going to pull a little bit of a big old switcheroo here. Just do a big circle on these guys. See if I can get a giant train of them going. And some might say, and try to see if I can circle back and then maybe explode them all on top of those. I don't know how I'm going to be able to manage to do that. There is a lot of enemies here. Yeah, I mean, there's another pocket bloom. We're not doing so great on necessarily finding our secondary objective. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Activate it. Activate it. Now move away a little bit. Oh, yes. I didn't quite get all the XP that I would have liked to get, but hey, it's something. I'm going to try to do the same thing again. I'm going to make a big circle around this territory. Make sure that they don't get directly on top of me. Uh, okay, I need a circle again. I, ooh, may I should stay out of the distance on that one. I'm going to go see if I can activate that explodies. No, I can't quite. I'm getting a little bit surrounded. Let's move away, move away, move away. <laughs> Dig my way through. Dig my way through. Ah, no, not next to it. Ooh. I just realized that at the last second. Okay, get some of this XP on the ground. Couple more explodies. We need more, uh, more fire rate, please. Uh, we just need... Oh my god. <laughs> That's exactly, exactly what we needed. Yeah, more reload speed for the shotgun. More damage for the primary, please. Can I get more XP? It's all just sitting right here on the ground. I'm taking quite a few hits through all this. But, you know, it's, it's gonna be worth it in the end. Um, plus damage to all weapons. These tendrils are gonna about to hit me real good. Keep my distance. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm down to 37 health. I do need to be careful because I was, I'm gonna start. I'm I'm getting close to death. I I guess I may as well imagine my weapon being prettier because it goes up two levels. That means I'm only one level away from giving it another major upgrade. Uh, try to gather up all this stuff. Dodge the projectiles. I'm sure they do a lot of damage. So try to make sure I don't get hit by any of it. There's a lot more tendrils around. I've realized that there's a lot more of these little kind of tendril boys just sticking around trying to hit me. And I'm not very appreciative of this. <laughs> Loot bugs, give me your goodies, please. I have 30 nitro and 74 gold. I'm losing myself in the sauce. I'm not going to lie. I'm losing my I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my words. I'm losing myself in the sauce. That is all this XP and just a roguelike in general. I, I'm a big sucker for these games. Mine on through, mine on through. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. It is maybe not the best situation to be over here, but it is something. Um, I'm going to take a fire rate, I guess, for the shotgun, and I can do a... Okay, weapon range. Increase the range of your projectiles. Change the damage type to cold? Do I want cold damage on my shotgun? I mean, it'll it'll freeze them, right? I mean, that seems better than weapon range. I mean, what am I going to do with weapon range? It's a shotgun. It's supposed to be close range regardless, right? So I may as well change the damage type to, to cold? Yeah, let's do cold. Ow, took a little bit of fire damage there, but that's fine. That's fine. It does hurt you maybe a little bit. I, I don't know. Ow, maybe it's the tendrils. Maybe it's the tendrils. I got six health. I got six health. I need to find health. And hey, speak of the devil, there is some health right there. Please, mine, 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 mine. And I don't mean that in a sense of like, oh, it's mine. I just mean, please, mine it. <laughs> and we also got the Apocalypse Bloom. We got our secondary objective. There we go. We just blew up one of the mini bosses as well. Or no, that was the boss. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. We only have 20 seconds. Okay, we can spend a little bit of time, a little bit of time standing next to the pod. Get rid of that tendril so we don't accidentally get smacked up here. Another level up. I will take a reload speed, please, for the primary kind of big damage dealer. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I I, you know, I need to get on this thing. Yep, yep, yep. Can't, do, I, do I get some of the XP? I did manage to collect some of it while still in the pod. There we go. Oh, I just got a whole bunch more XP there. I just saw it collect. Um... Increase all projectile damage by 20%. Yes, because we are lacking damage by quite a bit. I've realized we don't need extra XP gain. I will take a reload speed that does upgrade to another one. Increase the damage type to electrical. Ooh, yeah. Okay, may as well. We seem to be doing some elemental damage. Get more reload speed on the M100. I don't need the XP gain really right now. The 6% gain is not that important. I'd rather do a reroll and see what we have here. Damage type of all weapons. I mean, look, I mean, yeah. I'd say, I mean, 29, I can damage resistance plus six armor. Does that mean I just take six less damage when I get hit? That seems pretty good. And then do I have enough to afford a reload speed for all medium weapons? And well, I think that's all my weapons down there. The very bottom, you can see that has a blue arrow above all of my weapons. So that's how you know which one's going to be getting the effects of when I buy it. And I have 29 gold and it's going to cost 29 gold for this. Let's get it. Let's keep on moving on to the next level. I'm running out of words. I'm running out of breath, which, hey, you know, hey, while we have a moment here before the next wave gets super, you know, hectic. 
remember like the video it is going to be a great signifier for not only for me to know that you guys enjoy the video that you enjoy the content but i do mean this earnestly i do mean this honestly all the way through oh god what's hitting me um look i am a small channel i have less than ten thousand subscribers to some of you who may be watching this yeah that's right i have less than ten thousand subscribers so hey if you're new to the channel thank you for watching the video and thank you for hey maybe sharing it around tell your friends share it in your discord whatever have you and we do also have a discord it'll be down in the description below we only have like 11 members at the moment and holy crap i'm mining so fast <laughs> it's so fast um yeah i we do have we only have like 11 members something like that and not a lot so you guys can be some of the very first people that are gonna be like almost like the legends the, the true people who are gonna be joining the discord it's super early on my early fans I've been even thinking about maybe giving you guys like a special title just to kind of, you know, sweeten the deal a little bit. Stay away from that. Get them all to explode. Get that chain reaction going. Beautiful. But yeah, you know, I've been thinking about maybe giving like a special permission to those of you who are going to be like the very first ones. Maybe like to like the very first 100. Because look, I, again, I'm a small channel, so I appreciate every single person that subscribes, especially at this stage. And I can also, you know, I appreciate all the comments that you guys may leave down below. I don't get that many comments. So anytime you guys do say something, say hello. I always take a look. I comment back to it. I like it. I favorite it. All that fun stuff. Basically put, I like making content for you guys. I love making content. I've been doing it for the better part of an entire year. And the words just do not stop coming. They keep on coming. They do not stop coming. The words are endless. It is. I almost feel as though I'm kind of like a fast talker in XQC sense, but maybe more, uh, how do I say, understandable. I may talk fast, but uh, it could be biased because, you know, I am myself. <laughs> maybe a little bit of biasy here. But, you know, I feel like I try to pronounce things a little bit more fluently that maybe the average viewer can go ahead and view. You know, no, no, no shade towards XQC because he already has enough reasons to throw shade at him for a number of other reasons. But I don't really watch his content all that often. But every time I see him talking, it's just like, man, I cannot understand a single word that you are saying, like at all. Like, I, I don't understand how he has necessarily become such a large creator, such a large uh content creator in general oh we just got another great level up um we get a new weapon i kind of want to do the cryo damage but like we did that last time you know why don't we go ahead and get a quick firing weapon that shoots in fort no 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 we need the cryo grenade if we want to survive this we need something with like actual aoe damage here because we are starting to get a lot of these guys stacked up on top of oh there's about to be a huge explosion here wait for it come on explode for me baby come on give me that sweet sweet release oh why won't you do it Come on, die for me. Die, yeah! <laughs> oh my God, this might be the end of me. This this might be the end of me, guys. DigiDs, this might. Come on, get me out of here. God, get me out of here. I'm down to 16. I'm down to 16 health. Maybe it wasn't wise to be sticking my nose into the area where they're all kind of uh, gathering up. But you know what? I need it. I wanted that. Oh, I just realized the supply pod needs room. So that means I need to mine out all the rocks in that circle. Is that what it means? Is that how the supply pod comes down? Noted. Very noted. I just saw that a bunch of those rocks had like mining symbols on them. So that must mean that I, I need to mine it, of course, right? So that makes more sense now. When it says it needs more room, I thought it meant clear out the enemies. But yeah, back to the topic. Look, I don't know, understand how XQC got so big when honestly, I feel like I do pretty good at understanding people and somehow that man, I cannot understand a word he is saying. I'm getting surrounded. I'm getting surrounded. You know, enough of XQC about my survival now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. There goes the explosions. New artifact unlock. Nitro scanner cannot be found during a dive. New artifact unlock cannot be found during the dive. A burn shield belt. Okay. A Voltic Stun Sweeper. I can now get a Boomerang as a weapon choice. Okay. Well, hey, next episode, we're going to have to take a look at that DigiD. Holy crap. And by the way, here are the stats that from the that previous run. I know I just clicked through it kind of fast, but here are the stats, right? Here. Feel free to pause the video. Take a look at all those numbers and that, those sweet, sweet numbers of all the glory of the weapons that it provided to see what exactly was doing the most damage. But again, thank you, DigiDs, for watching the video. Thank you for sharing it around. Join the Discord. All that fun stuff. God, I know I talk a lot. God, I know I talk fast. But hey, if there's one thing I can always guarantee you, that I don't know how to do any of these outros, but I can always expect to see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and bye bye And yes, I did kind of mess up that outro, but it's part of the reason me saying that I don't know how to do these outros. <laughs> a year of making videos, and I still don't got it. <laughs>